good morning. The cockerels. Um, how are you doing? I've got a plantar fasciitis. Had it for a couple of months now. So the plantar fascia is a strong band of connected tissue in the, <laughs> in the sole of the foot, running from the heel forwards towards the toes. Strong, thick, tough. It helps support the arches. It helps hold a lot of the structures in the foot together, right? Uh, being a connective tissue, if you do injure it, it's very slow to heal. So I think I, when I first had the pain, I took a couple of weeks off running and then tried a soft run. And during the run, it felt okay, but the pain came back afterwards, which is pretty typical for plantar fasciitis. So then I said, right, I'm going to take two months off. And my date to go back was May the 3rd. So we're a week early. Um, I've been stretching and rolling a bit, icing when painful, adding heat to encourage blood flow, all the things, and lots of walking as well. So connective tissues, the fibroblasts, um, what they've got to do, well, it's got to, connective tissues have a poor blood supply, so they're very slow to heal. But the fibroblasts are very good at sensing load. So the healing process is the fibroblasts, the cells in the connective tissue, rearranging the collagen fibres and other extracellular matrix molecules to rebuild the tissue as it should be. So they need to sense load to be prompted to do that, right? So I've been doing a lot of walking, but I really miss running. It's part of my routine, it has been for decades. Uh, and you do injure yourself every now and then, so you do have to stop, so this isn't entirely unusual. But, it's been feeling okay, it's, I can still feel it, that it's there. So we're going to go for a run. But it's going to be a 500 metre run. <laughs> so we're going to run on a soft surface, gentle incline, 500 metres, and see how it feels. And then turn around, if it feels okay, run back down again. If it doesn't feel okay, I'm going to walk home. Mm. <laughs> so we've done about a kilometre warm-up so far and stretched this morning. It feels... Well, you know, okay, so then the test is going to be... So it probably won't hurt when I'm running, hopefully. Might do to start. But the test really is, does it hurt afterwards? Does it hurt tomorrow? And then I can... Uh, make another plan. This is how you get back to it, you do uh, very small runs. Let's wrap. And we're away. Feels absolutely fine. Ah, Alright. So running is part of my routine, it's part of uh, my mental balance. I've been feeling quite overwhelmed recently. I get... So I, as an anatomy teacher, I get overwhelmed the more I learn, I get overwhelmed by how much there is to know, how much there is to learn. The more you learn, the more you study, the deeper you go, the more you find. It's like a fractal. You realise how much you don't know. And that's not a new feeling. And then I get overwhelmed by how much other people expect me to know. I'm an anatomy teacher. Am I going too fast? Am I just unfit? Oh, it's easier for a bit. Just like other anatomy teachers, we all know the same stuff. We understand anatomy because we teach it. I'm not special. I'm the same as other anatomy teachers. We all know the same stuff. So I get a little, a little bit overwhelmed by how much people expect me to know and remember and recall. In fact, I get quite surprised by how much I can recall. Um, but still, 250 meters, all is well. And then I get overwhelmed by people who think they know everything. I'm not talking about students, I'm not talking about people who are studying these topics, I'm talking about <laughs> the, the general public, I guess. People who might be experts in other fields, who know other things who then seem to know everything about a biological topic 
spout it like it's facts when of course it's complete crap most of the time no performance quality condition minus four fair okay fair enough yeah that gets a bit overwhelming by people who don't even realize how much they don't know but are so confident in thinking that they know the things that they don't know and there's a lot of rubbish out there and it just gets me down it's a lot of bull poop 460 meters there we go Ooh. Ooh. funny don't go running for a couple of months and you don't feel very fit heel feels okay this all feels fine so we're gonna run back down the hill again so that I will have run a kilometer mm. a whole kilometer feels like the most natural thing in the world second most natural after walking maybe oh it's nice to be out oh, oh it does feel good it feels good to be be out and breathing in and out oh yeah here we go Ninety, point nine eight, point nine nine. Don't trip over. A kilometer. There we go. All right. Discipline there. Walk home. Right knees a bit tight, a bit sore. Probably need to do some stretching. Climbing's great at making all sorts of weird muscles tight. <laughs> um. I can feel the tension on the medial side of the sole of my foot. No pain, just tension. Like I say, the trick will be, how does it feel later today and tomorrow? And that'll tell me what I do the next day. Maybe it'll be another kilometre run. Ooh. So my, my background is, uh, well, as a kid I was running track with school uh, not brilliantly and then started running kind of 5k's 10k's but kids weren't allowed to do much back in those days you didn't have like park run like doing 5k 10k was kind of frowned upon as a under 16 under 18 year old anyway as I got older ran 10k's getting fast did a marathon uh, 246 in Dublin then going to triathlon which went pretty well um, and then ultra marathons uh, before COVID, I was running up to 100. The longest one I did was 101 kilometres in like hilly, hilly 85k's and stuff. So you know, I, do, uh, <laughs> I run a lot. Uh, so you miss it. You miss it when it's not there, right? I'm walking. I'm walking. Is that coming at us? Looks like it. It's the next day. Um, we're out climbing. The forecast is not working. It's not raining according to the forecast. Chucked it down when we got here. There's pockets of showers, isn't it? It's completely going to be hit and miss whether you get caught in it or not. Anyway, uh, so after running yesterday, my heel, my plantar fascia was no worse. There was no increase in pain or anything. It was, it was about the same. And then today, it was about the same. Looks like we might get away with it. Right, I'm gonna go and try and climb. Have a nice chill out session without worrying about rain and stuff. So I'll see you guys. Uh, next week but it looks like i might be back to running this week uh one kilometer at a time